All right, looking for a job recruiter, somebody to help you find a job. National Job Recruiter, King Kwame Services, they got you, all right? For $100, you can get a cover letter, resume, reference page, job application, scheduling of interviews, anyone 16 and up, and they're going to get you a job for sure, for sure, for sure, okay? So they work one-on-one -on -one with you to make sure you find employment, whether you're new to the job market or you're changing careers. You can find them at King Kwame Services at gmail.com, King Kwame Services on Instagram, King Kwame Services.com or 917-960-9806. So looking for a job, hit them up. Information description. All right, man. Terrence Crawford uh, talked a little bit about Spence. All right, let's talk, let's listen to exactly what he had to say. But hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video, let's get to it. D50 and said, Come on, let's just make that fight. Obviously, you'll still fight, correct? Hold on. If Spence and them came to you with a 50 50 and said, Come on, let's just make that fight, obviously, you'll still fight, correct? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. What? Why Why is know. that? What? Because I'm past that. Because I'm past that. It's like, I've been calling for them fights since I was at 140. If you go all the way back, before I even became undisputed, before I even had a welterweight fight, I was calling out Keith Thurman, Errol Spence, and all those guys, you know what I mean? And once I moved up, everybody was saying, get a belt, get a belt. I get a belt my first fight. Not no two, no, no nothing. My first fight, I was to win. Now it's you on the wrong side of the street. I'm not about to be playing these games where they say, oh, well, we fight you when we want to fight you. It's on our terms. And this and that and that. And it's, it's, it don't work like that with me. Either we're going to fight, and that's that. If we're not, that's that. It's cool, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm comfortable where I'm at. I'm cool. All right, you heard what he said. Um... He's comfortable where he at. Let's talk about it once again. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And um, what I think is frustration. Frustration. When you got real people like that, you go to the corporate world. It's like a niggas, you know, used to hustling on the streets, right? And you put him in a corporate setting. He used to people doing things a certain way. You know, used to, you know, getting paid, <laughs> getting paid on every hour on the hour. He ain't used to waiting on his paycheck on Friday, okay? He used to, you know, being able to do stuff on his own time. He moving how he want to move. Put him in a corporate setting, he got a boss. He got to wait two weeks or a week to get paid. He don't understand that. And Bud is just in a position where, Bud is in a position where, he a real, muff, he a real, he like a, a, a real, he like a, 70s, 80s, 90s fighter in today's era, which everybody want to, you know, oh, you got to get on social media, do this. You you got to call these guys out. You got to embarrass these guys. He don't, under, he don't understand this fake shit. He want to fight on his time, and, and Errol want to shrink it out. You know, for a fact that they trying to wait to Bud get old. And if I know that, I pre I'm pretty sure that Bud knows that, and he's just at the point where he not going to be on old boy time. He probably going to just go up, try to get a belt, probably Jamel Charlo, whatever, and call it peace. And people say, well, see, he don't want to fight. No. He's telling you. Hold on. He's telling you that. And he, like, I've been calling for that fight before I got here. Remember, he's calling Keith Thurman name. And people say, well, why are you calling Earl Spence name? Earl Spence? He said, okay, I fight Earl Spence. And Earl Spence don't want to fight. Keith Thurman don't want to fight. It ain't, it ain't necessarily his fault. It ain't his fault at all. They won't, even fight, they won't even fight each other. <laughs> you ever looked at that, that? They won't even fight each other. So it ain't really nothing that he can... It ain't really nothing that he can do about it. You know? But, um... Everybody gonna say he double? Everybody know Earl Spence, the one that's saying 70-30. What is it? Oh, my charger. 70-30 and... This, that, and the third, and he don't want to fight. Excuse me. Uh, he was oh, this is good saying this, but that's just frustration, dude. That's frustration. That's all that is. That's frustration. Hold on. 
you know. And a lot of times people don't know how to deal with frustration. He just like, man. He basically tired of waiting. You want that shit to happen now. And right now, he don't, you know, right now, Earl Spitz holds the keys to his career right now. Let's see move up. He already moved up, what, two times? He found three different weight classes. What else do people want from him? No. It's all about if Earl Spence was. And if Keith Thurman came out and said, well, I want to fight, okay. I think they'll make that fight tomorrow. Keith Thurman don't want to fight. They talked to Ugo. The thing about the people they, they offer to. Danny Garcia. Talked to Sean, or offer Sean Porter. Talked to Ugas. He waited. You know, they talked to everybody at PBC so far. All them dudes. They don't even want to fight each other. You know, why didn't Earl Spence never get Keith Thurman? Why didn't get Pacquiao? Why is Mikey Garcia about to get Pacquiao? And I hear they about to fight, but they ain't got no no cement and no date been put out there. So why is the dude Earl Spence beat to a pulp getting the Manny Pacquiao fight? Because Earl Spence didn't knock his dick in the dirt like he was supposed to. Come on. Why not? No. So, you know, remember he said, oh, you on the wrong side of the street and you did this wrong. And, you know, they don't want to give them to you, this, that, and the third and whatever. But now Mikey Garcia, who's on the same side of the street as you. It's getting Pacquiao before you. I think Earl Smith would rather be fighting Ugas for that belt, for the Super WBA belt, or Manny Pacquiao. He'd rather be fight. He'd rather be fighting Manny Pacquiao for that belt. I can answer the question for you. You know. That's the best one right here. Uh -huh. Mango peach. You know why? Why is a uh, why is Manny Pacquiao getting the um Mikey Gar why is Mikey Garcia getting the Pacquiao fight? Even though they should Pacquiao the belt, but come on. Before Pacquiao had a real belt, everybody was calling him out. Crawford just frustrated. He the business of boxing, the politics. This is what happen when you get a fighter that don't want to fight everybody. It is. This is what happen when you get a fighter that wanna bang with everybody. When everybody else don't want to fight. Nobody gonna call Spencer out. Nobody gonna do what Blood Boston did and just call him out. And he was right. Terrence Crawford needed to just walk away from it. That's exactly what he needed to be doing. They don't want to fight Terrence Crawford because he can punch and he can box. If, if Crawford punched like Paul Malinowski, the fight would have been made. Well, come over to this side of the street. Well, you and Keith Thurman been on the same side of the street for years, and ain't never, nothing never shaped. Look how they did Gary Russell. Can't get no fights. You know, about to fight Ray Vargas for what? You know, so that's just frustration, bro. That's just frustration with, with him just wanting to fight, not getting the fights. The Sean Porter fight, him pricing he won three million in the pandemic, he ain't worth one. Trying to fight Danny Garcia, Danny Garcia didn't want to fight. So, I mean, you gotta, you gotta move on. You just can't clean out a division in which guys don't want to fight. And these, these motherfuckers been in this division forever. Earl Smith's been in this division for. Since 2013, 14, something like that. Diddy Garcia been at this division, what, since, what, 16, 17? This just don't make no sense. Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, Errol Spence, been at this division longer than him. Pacquiao. They've been at this division longer than Spence, and they and no, they, all of them still ain't thumped. And Sean Porter still ain't uh, pushed that mandatory button. Well, we will become the mandatory and we can see some shake. You know? He become the mandatory and Bud dropped the belt, dear. We get our answer. Good fight, though. Fight I want to see. I'm not shying away from... I'm not like Earl Spence. Well, oh, you know, he don't need to fight Buddy to do this. Oh, come on. As long as Sean Porter ain't coming off a loss, let's, let's do it. 
Ugar said no. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. He's not fighting Earl Smith for three belt unification. It worked out for him. But he ain't no real champion. Unless he beat Earl Smith. But, I mean, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you have a business question, inquire, response, or video request. All my social media links in the description. The fastest way to reach me is Twitter, and then Facebook and Instagram. We also got a Facebook group. That's there. Um, other than that, man, just share the video. Appreciate the love support. Check out the boxing news playlist, the World to Weight playlist as well, too. And let me know what you guys think. Y'all you know what the business is. One time for the one time. Peace.